addressing HDL dysfunction through functional nutrition. Traditionally, HDL, high-density lipoprotein, has been considered a good cholesterol, but it's not that simple. In this video, you will learn how HDL functions when healthy, what happens when HDL becomes dysfunctional, and how to restore HDL function. HDL particles circulate in the bloodstream, accepting excess cholesterol from cells such as arterial plaque foam cells and carry the cholesterol to the liver to be processed and removed from the body. This vital function is known as reverse cholesterol transport. Think of HDL particles like tiny garbage trucks, picking up excess cholesterol and bringing it to the liver where it can leave the body through bile. HDL protects the arteries of the cardiovascular system through anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and anti-thrombotic actions. HDL also protects the vascular system by preventing LDL oxidation, which leads to the development of arterial plaques and coronary heart disease. HDL also stimulates endothelial nitric oxide production, improving blood flow through vasodilation. An HDL particle is comprised of many proteins which are critical for proper HDL function. The protein ApoA1 on the surface of HDL interacts with cholesterol transporters such as ABCA1 on cells such as arterial foam cells, facilitating cholesterol loading into HDL particles. Another protein on the surface of the HDL particle, PON, acts as a shield to protect it from stressors in the environment. When these proteins are healthy, HDL particles function the way they're supposed to and protect the cardiovascular system. Unfortunately, HDL particles are susceptible to damage that diminishes their cardioprotective functions. Inflammatory molecules, persistent oxidative stress, and high glucose levels can all damage HDL components and activity. Damaged HDL particles cannot efficiently collect cholesterol, and severely damaged particles inflame surrounding cells and tissues. Cholesterol then accumulates within the arterial walls, and as localized inflammation increases, arterial plaques grow. Patients can have normal or high HDL cholesterol levels, but have poor HDL function. Fortunately, dysfunctional HDL is a reversible process. Research supports a personalized lifestyle medicine approach can restore HDL function. Quitting or reducing smoking, regular exercise, and eating a Mediterranean diet can improve HDL function. Clinical research also shows supplements containing lycopene, quercetin, and pomegranate polyphenols can improve the actions of PON and other proteins important for HDL function. This allows more cholesterol to leave the body and HDL to provide its cardiovascular benefits. Visit our website for additional resources and learn more about HDL dysfunction today.